glad I'm out of there. Now to Therese, so she calls off the feud with Tom, and I can have this job for the Jester Prince done once and for all. <laughs> Therese is not here. Let's take this chance to snoop around her computer. From Vandal. Miss Woman, your humble servant has done his all to provide you with yet another batch of the finest sanguine spirits. And I apologize for not pouring it when you asked last time. Forgive me, unlike you, I'm an imperfect being. From Julian Johnson. Look, Miss Foreman. I'm really sorry to do this, but the men won't work there anymore. They say it's haunted. From Jeanette. Why are you always so mean? Bertie's not so bad once you get to know him. You're the disgusting one. Hmm. Interesting. How odd. I was just having naughty thoughts about you. You made quite an impression earlier. Did you come up just to cheer lonely little me? All of my selves are intoxicated with you, white mistress. Really? Do I often pogo stick through your thoughts wearing nothing but a smile? Be honest. Or don't. You haunt my dark dreams, but what deeds do I do in your own? What all suede kittens do. On hands and knees, you lap up the milk of me. And we purr, kitten, like dragonflies buzzing around frog bellies. Your words make me blood crazy and feverish, lost in a remembered life lust. So, Therese told me you might be back with something for her. Do you have it with you? Your sister only receives this treasure. I'm not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, my sisters made me out to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? Hold on to the knowledge that you mean nothing to me. She's always belittling me. She's the smart one. She's the favorite. She's the successful one. Well, it's not fair. I'm not a fool. This club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers. My heart is open, but your hand will not contain your desire. Do you understand what it's like to have your own flesh and blood ripping you apart on a daily basis for two lifetimes? Can you? Forgiveness, white daughter, but this is for the other only. Fine, you hold on to it. Hmm, since you are so willing to brave that big spooky place for my darling sister, how about doing a teensy tiny favor for little troubled me? What deed could I do to amuse the rainy day child? Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk. For you, I would face the flame at noontime. <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught, and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something velvet. I don't steal the offerings of innocence. It's not what you think. Every pretty penny dropped in that box is going right into some other kindred's purse. You'd be crooking from a dirty steal. If these paintings go under the blade, then you free the worm? I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. I remember sweet things together. But can we enjoy them undead? Oh, well, it's a little different, but entirely possible. Come sit next to me on the bed. I'll show you. Hi, 
it for me. Well, that was interesting. Let's just do this last thing before Therese comes back. Huh? I think I'm imagining things again. The gallery is here. Let's see if there's a back door. Hey! Hey! Hey, hold on a minute there! I'm afraid you're committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Come on, let's have some fun. Why don't you put me in those handcuffs? <laughs> well, Missy, that's just a natural response that people have to someone in my kind of position. Huh? The risk, the prestige, the authority. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. Yes, yes, yes. These words make me feel alive. Uh, yeah, you know, you'd be surprised how often I hear that in this line of work. Uh, it's a uniform, you know. Women just can't get over the uniform. The chocolate stains are like medals of honor. Well, uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, if I continue to engage you in conversation, it's a violation of Code 613. I'll be your donut shop. Whisper your order in my ear. Let me see these paintings. It tells the tale of the Dark Father, Cain. First Cain slays Abel. Then God curses him. Third, Cain meets Lilith. <laughs> Lastly, Cain spurns Lilith. Good luck yeah. finding a bay around here. Yeah. Hmm, what time is it? Perhaps we might make a sweet street-side rendezvous. I've suddenly got the urge to walk down that dark and foreboding alley over there. Care to join me? We can join ourselves here. You, 
What were you thinking? About. Museum. That was my event. Did you think I wouldn't find out? But. Shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture. But nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others. But how dare you! I don't know what your lips are saying. Don't lie to me! Jeanette already confessed she tricked you into doing it. It was probably all Tongue's idea. I'll deal with them later. But that's still no excuse for you ruining my museum. Ze I have brought you the ghostly bauble and old words. Excellent! I'll take that. However, Jeanette claimed you did it for her. But let's say I believe you. After all, you've acted decently and rationally up to now. I imagine you'd still like me to call off the feud. Yes, the worm is wiggling. There's only one problem. If Tongue gets word that I threatened Jeanette, which he most certainly already has, it's not likely he'll believe me. So, in order to call off the feud, you're going to have to convince Jeanette to forgive me first. How might this deed be done? I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously, and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her, and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner, to reconcile. But I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. This is more convoluted than my psyche. I will find her, and then we finish this. I want to see my sister. Yes, I'll call it off once I've spoken with her myself. Just do what I ask. Done and done. From Therese. I'm disgusting. I'm not the one that let that Miss Ferrata touch me. Can't you see that he is trying to tear us apart to take over the city? From Therese. How could you? And now my gallery too? I'm going to show you a little something Jeanette, the sun. Did she add me to the list? Oh, duckling it's me. My new kitten. Three stars. That's actually not bad since it was my first time as an undead. Leaves room for improvement. <laughs> They're coming. It's strange. Gangsters here. The phone is ringing. Hello? I'm terribly sorry about that. My sister was just furious about your refusal to take part in her design. So she sent those men to kill you. But I'm going to make sure it never happens again. Drop by. We'll take care of this. She's crazy! Help! I think I broke her. You stay out of this! To think anyone would risk their life for this filthy, tainted waste of blood. This will just make it easier to kill both of you. Help! Save me and I'll help you find Bertram! I swear! Shut up, Jeanette! 
I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me. I wasn't sticking my fingers in anyone's pie, dear sister. Of course you weren't, just like you weren't working with him. Is it any different than the way you treated father? Father? Oh, Therese, you poor deluded dear. I treated father exactly the way he deserved to be treated. And he treated you like a... You don't say a word about father. Your heart still belongs to daddy after all these years, eh, sister? At least he loved me. You take that back, you bitch! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? Ivory princess? Oh, I just knew you'd come to save me. I promise you, if you help me out of this, I'll make sure you find Bertram. I swear. With Therese out of the way, I can do a lot more than just that for you. What is this? The daughters of Janus are of one skin. Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore. Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean. You're I one to talk, fear. dear sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't, don't finish go. that sentence or you're dead. Go. Please Make continue. Clean I've got had his way with you. And he didn't have to force you. You went limp and became his plaything. Do you think I didn't hear it? Night after night? Always the obedient daughter until... Shut up. Just shut up! Go on, Ivory Princess. Would you like to tell the story? <laughs> she makes herself out to be the virgin queen of the night, pious as a nun, stable as the Earth's orbit. But it's on act, isn't it? I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing but plot against me when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taken care of me. You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. She owes you nothing, dark daughter. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Yes. The Dark One called down the Reaper on me. Therese will never let you live. You've disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? But father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. What of Janice, white mistress? Father came home drunk one day and mistook me for Therese. Because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. Don't I listen to her. She's lying. Red Therese gray. walked in while he was there, and she saw me lying with him, and so she went to the closet and pulled out his hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot, and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. That's a lie. Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. A dark deed for the dark daughter, not to believed. The police sure did. They broke us up for a little while, remember? The first thing you did after your escape was find me. Enough! Don't say another word about that. Oh, so, sweet blow. sister, is this how it has to end? Oh, I admit, I always knew this night might come. Me. Well, any message you want me to give father? An apology? A love letter? Grab the boomstick, Ivory Princess! I killed her. I didn't want her to go. I only wanted her to change. You understand, don't you? Poor, poor Therese. No change could happen if you kept being two. 
You need to face yourself. You wanted to find Bertram. He's at the old gas station in an empty oil tank. He'll help you because I'll ask him to. But you must keep your tongue tied tight about what happened this night. Understand? Your words are clear, white mistress. Don't hesitate to come see me once in a while. I'm going to be so lonely without Therese. I mean, I may need someone like you sometime. And I do get bored so easily. Maybe you could come by and cheer me up sometime. I will come to worship at your alabaster altar. No matter what is true or a lie you are telling yourself, it wasn't your fault. You did what you needed to survive. I will visit soon.